Welcome to Tune Up Honda News. I'm Jay Larson, and this is my identical twin brother, Nick. Identical? <laughs> Four years ago, we told you the story of a small nonprofit in East Africa that wanted to set up a technology, design, and business training facility. A lot's changed in four years. You got a lot more gray hairs for one. <laughs> they say gray hairs represent wisdom, Jay. You look exactly the same. <laughs> Here's a recap. In the last year, Tuna Panda has deployed hubs in Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. But we'll be focusing on their work in Kibera, Kenya. For more about Kibera, our correspondent Melinda Gates at the Duke University graduation ceremony. When I go to Kenya, I was in Nairobi. I was in a, a large slum there, Kibera. Some people consider it the largest slum in Africa. Thanks, Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> that episode went viral, getting a mind-blowing nearly 400 views. <laughs> and raised Tuna Panda Institute over $24,000. Let's see if they've done something meaningful or just blew the money on something frivolous. Like a Lambo? Exactly. Oh. Over to our correspondent on the ground, Maureen Mora. Welcome to Kibera, one of the finest creative centers of the galaxy. Here we have a painting by a well-known artist from Kibera, Banksleaf, who was featured by our own competitor network, CNN. Maureen, it says on Twitter that's fake news. Fake news? <laughs> <laughs> Not fake news. <laughs> but back to Tunapanda. They have set up a computer lab to run free three-month intensive training courses to unlock human potential. More than 300 young people have graduated from around a dozen cohorts, learning skills that have allowed them to become lifelong learners, earners, and problem solvers. They develop a wide range of skills like coding, web design, graphics, entrepreneurship, and more all with the focus of teamwork and problem solving. Thanks, Maureen, uh, but that doesn't sound like it costs much. Can you investigate what they've really been doing? Yes, I've got a source inside to Napanda telling me that an astronomical move is about to be announced. They're sending their fastest car to pick me up. Wow, looks like they've been busy. But what is this astronomical move? Boom, crushing the game. Disrupting chess. <laughs> okay, but that wasn't the major move I was expecting. Hey Maureen, isn't that the kid we interviewed four years ago? The meaning of rock is reaching out with compassion in Kibera. Why don't you find out what he's been up to? Yes, it is. Hey, Melchizedek, what has changed in the last four years? Well, apart from planning my next moves, let me show you around Tunapanda. I'm part of Tunapanda's core team, and I also tutor kids from other schools. I build websites for clients, teach business skills, and I'm also working on building my first business. I'm also learning finance and accounting by handling Tunapanda's cash register. Tunapanda runs on Holacracy, based on agile software development, and we also get to explore tons of different projects. For example, our wireless network led by Josephine, robotics led by Brian, 3D animation led by Dana, and the blockchain training startups led by Satoshi Nakamoto, who bought us these computers. So you've gone from an education on a hard drive to building self-managing training programs. What's next? There's only one thing left. The final frontier. To the moon! Yeah! The future of education and work is changing all across the globe. And we want to create a space here in Kibera, just minutes from our co training facility, that will allow kids and young people to learn cutting edge skills, share knowledge, be inspired and have an active role in creating this future. They say dreams power imaginations and imaginations change the world. So, welcome to Kibera Aeronautical and Space Academy, CASA. So, you're getting into the space colonization game, huh? <laughs> Bro, you can't say the C word. It's 2018, space fertilization. 
Looks like this place is going to need some work if it's going to become a space training program. Wait a minute. Is this another crowdfunding campaign? Ah. Past generations look up at the sky and dreamed of going up there. We want present and future generations to dream, learn, work and explore space together, starting right here, right now. It is probably going to take us some time to get to the moon, but we can start by training people in the skills that can help us get there and eventually to fertilize the space. These same skills will help keep our people and the planet healthy and employed. Tunapanda needs your help to launch this project. Support the campaign so that they can open the Kibera Aeronautical and Space Academy, CASA, in early 2019. That's it for another edition of Tuna Panda News. See you in four years, Mech. It's a shame they didn't get that Lambo. Yeah, maybe next time. <laughs>